There are many built-in apps on your Galaxy smartphone that are extremely useful and make you super productive, but you're not using them as much. So the first app is called Samsung Reminders. It's right here and it's actually more of a task organizer. You can list down your tasks and then as soon as you add a date or a time alert, that makes it a reminder. And you can also make them location-based reminders as well, which is really cool because you get reminded of that task as soon as you leave or arrive at a location that you specified. And you know, within each task, you can have subtasks, but these subtasks will not show up in the list view but you can change it to cards view and then the subtasks would show up right there. And like most to-do apps, all of your tasks can be organized into categories and all of these categories could be given a name, a color, and of course, all your tasks would carry that color in this circle that you see. And of course, then the app also allows you to sort your tasks by categories. So that makes it really neat. You can also share these categories with a friend or a family member if they're using a Samsung phone too. And now whenever you add a task in that category, it would also show up in their phone's reminders. The next one, and it's an absolute must have, is Samsung Goodlock. And it is the most underrated customization tool for Samsung smartphones. With this, for example, with simple swipe gestures, you can take a screenshot or open quick tools or open the notification tray or even just lock your screen by swiping up. And that good lock module is called One Hand Operation Plus available for all Galaxy phones and you can configure from any of these actions and these are amazing. You can customize how your recent apps windows should look like and you do have quite a few options within the Home Up module within good lock. If you don't like your apps in a page view format, you can convert that into list view. I can quickly get into search mode by just swiping down and typing the name of an app or a contact that I'm looking for, much like Spotlight Search on iOS. I can customize the way my keyboard looks and interacts with me. You can also get many more clock faces for your always on display. I mean, just look at how cool these look. So if you go within the clock face module in Good Luck, you can see a full list of these new clock faces or else you could go and just create one for yourself. And by the way, I've only scratched the surface of what Good Lock can really do for you. So download it and play with it. Okay, the next one is called Link to Windows. And it's a companion app that links your Galaxy smartphones with your Windows PC wirelessly. For example, you can remotely control your phone from your PC. So you could pretty much open any app and use it on your laptop screen without even touching your phone. You can copy content on one device and paste it on another. You can receive notifications and even reply to them from the PC itself. And that takes away half the reasons why I pick up my phone. Needless to say, you can transfer photos and files from your phone to PC and of course from your PC to your phone. So all you have to do is drag and drop it onto your phone's display, which is on your PC. And guess what? You can also make and receive phone calls on your PC via your phone if you're connected using Link to Windows. By the way, Link to Windows is not an app, it's actually a setting. You can search for it or you could just follow these steps and pull out Link to Windows and place it in your quick panel. That's it. Now, I have done a full video explaining all the features of Link to Windows and how you can set it up. I'll leave a card here which will link to that video so you can watch that after this video. And now a quick shout out to our sponsor. If you're an entrepreneur, a business or even a content creator, do you have your own website and a personalized email ID? Or are you still handing out WordPress links and Gmail IDs? Getting your own country specific domain is a lot simpler and better. For example, I'm in India, so a .in domain would make a lot of sense for me. First, I'm more likely to get a website name that I want given there's just more availability within a country specific domain like .in. Second, it also means I can have my very own domain specific email. And then on top of all of this, I also get some SEO benefit. And so now would be a great time to just book a domain and secure it. And so you could just go to the link and start the process. And by the way, it's a lot more affordable than you think. And now back to the video. Okay, next up is secure folder. It's like your very own private basement. You keep your private stuff there and only you have the key to it. And so whether it's photos, videos, or files, you can just select them and move them to secure folder and they just get transferred. And now only you can access them from within secure folder, which is of course protected using either a pin or biometric. And you've got that option with you. And you can see all of those photos are now here. 
You can even add apps to this private space. So let's select Messenger, uh, Telegram, and WhatsApp, right? And these are now secure copies of these app that actually sit inside of secure folder. And if you see, these are fresh copies. This has nothing to do with WhatsApp that's sitting outside of secure folder. And if you see, it gets this secure icon. And the only way to access is if, you know, you cut the pin for it. And hey, if you don't want it on the home screen at all, you can remove it and the only way to access it would be through secure folder. And that way, no one even knows that they exist. And if you want, you can even change the name of secure folder app and give it a completely different icon. And that way, no one even knows that you have a secure folder in the first place. In fact, I've done a full video explaining everything you can do with Samsung secure folder and you know the steps you need to follow to set it up. And I'll leave that video here in the card so you can just go through that. Now, let's talk about Samsung Pay, which lets you connect your bank accounts, credit or debit cards, and even wallets, and then make payments. But do note that the options and features will vary by country or by region. So you could just swipe on your lock screen, select whether you want to pay using a card, an e-wallet, or UPI, and then that's it. And so if you think about it, you don't need extra apps like Google Pay and Phone Pay and Paytm all you need is Samsung Pay, which is already installed on your phone. You can also register your utility bills like electricity or water, or your postpaid payments or mobile recharges and much more straight from here. And the more you use this app to make payments or, you know, pay your bills, it's going to add points, which you can then redeem for gift cards from within the Samsung Pay app. So there is some incentive to be using it. Now, the next one is Galaxy Members app. And this is a very good app if you want to know tips and tricks about your Galaxy smartphone, participate in contests, get discounts on products and accessories, and most importantly, get support on any issue that you might have. First of all, you can run diagnostics on your phone by yourself and figure out what it is in your phone that's actually not working. You can also seek immediate remote support from Samsung support team or ask a question that's very specific uh, to your problem by going in here and selecting your problem. You can also add more information or screenshot to explain your problem better. I mean, just by doing this, you can save yourself an entire trip to the service center. And more importantly, you can get your problem resolved immediately. All right, next up is Samsung SmartThings. And it's a pretty good app for quite a few things. But one of the most important things it does is help you find your lost, stolen or misplaced phones, your phones, tablets, or even laptops. Of course, they all must be signed in using the same Samsung account. So you can locate your device, ring it, or even navigate to it. And that I think is the most important feature of SmartThings. In addition to all of this, you can also manage smart devices like all of these home electrical appliances and electronics, and even create scenes and home automations. But that could be a whole other video. So I'm going to leave that right now. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. These were some Samsung apps that I felt not a lot of people even know about it. Forget about using it, but they're all on your phone already. So just see which ones really stick with you. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was really helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. Really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.